All right, let's look at JWT Scratchpad. Check the admin Scratchpad at this website. All right, so here's the admin special, um, the JWT Scratchpad. You cannot log in as admin. He's special and you're not. So you'll see if I try to log in with that, but I can log in with whatever name I want. And I can use a short and cool name like John, which gives me a link to this John the Ripper password cracker. So let's go ahead and log in as John. And here's my scratch pad. Now what we'll see with that is we get this JWT token. So I'll copy that. And this is a JSON web token, right? JWT, JSON web token. And they give us a nice link to that. So I'll come over here in their debugger. We can actually just copy paste this thing in. And it tells me the payload data is user John. What we don't know is that 256 bit secret. So, uh, what I've done over here is I've put this into a file and I've compiled this John the Ripper. Um, and I've actually done this one, so let's remove that. Let's just do the show. All right, so the command that you would run to do this is John, and then this is going to take a long time to crack this because it's going to have to brute force it. Uh, the answer is I love Pico. So what we can do is we can now come back here. We put in the secret I love Pico. It tells me that's a weak secret, but the signature is now verified. So this is really what we want. But we want to be admin. So if we just say admin, and I love Pico signature verified, we should be able to copy paste this and make this be our cookie. So we'll save that, we'll refresh the page and JWT was just what you thought. So again, the key point here was that this was a JSON web token John the Ripper was a tool that was going to enable us to break that secret. We could then re-encode the cookie we want as password and we get the flag.